Hey everybody. So uh, I'm going to try an experiment and I thought that you might like to watch me try the experiment. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a uh, homemade garlic sauce and like a Chinese style garlic sauce and I'm going to saute some asparagus in it. So in my limited space right here, I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to chop off the woody part of these asparagi. Let's just see where it breaks. Right there. So, I'm going to take those and just chuck those right out. And I'm going to make my sauce. The way that I'm going to make my sauce is I'm going to. Take this bowl right here. I'm going to take some vegetable broth. I'm going to puncture the can. On both sides. I'm going to go ahead and put a up this is a half cup here cup of broth is my base did I mention this was an experiment <laughs> and um, I'm going to use a Big old tablespoon of soy sauce. Right there. A little bit extra. I'm going to throw some red pepper flake in there because I really like heat. I'm going to put in a full tablespoon of minced garlic. So after all, this is a garlic sauce. Start, start to put some of my stuff away. This is not a whole lot of room here. I'm going to... I have some fresh parsley right here. A whole lot of fresh parsley. I'm going to go ahead and chop that up. I'm going to use about half of this, I think. Because that is a lot of parsley. I think parsley just gives a really nice savory overtone to any sauce. I love parsley. I think parsley's a underutilized element. Uh, olive oil. The recipe that I was basing this on, which I, I went pretty far away from, said to use a tablespoon of oil I'm going to use a teaspoon of oil um, just because I don't need the extra calories. And I'm using olive oil. <laughs> I would not recommend that anybody use olive oil for this because it's going to affect the flavor. If anything, you would use something like peanut oil. Uh, but this is where we are. Uh, I'm going to use a 
a little bit of sugar. I'm going to use a full tablespoon. I happen to be using sugar in the raw, turbinado uh, raw cane sugar, but you don't have to do that. You can use just regular old sugar. And in order to thicken this, I'm going to use uh, some whole wheat flour. And again, I'm going to take my tablespoon. Make sure that it's nice and clean and dry. I'm going to use a nice flat, see that nice flat tablespoon. And now, just kind of take the end of a knife and mix that all together a little bit. Try to break up the lumps in the flour. Doesn't look too bad. And this is really brothy, uh, but it will thicken up when I add some heat to it. Okay. Let's go ahead and go over to the pan right there. I'm going to turn the heat on high, and I'm going to go ahead and spray this with some cooking spray. chop you just heard was me cutting the asparagus in half because it's going to be more reasonable for me to do that. More reasonable for it to cook, I should say. Now we're just going to keep that moving because it's such high heat. Hopefully we will be able to cook it through in just a few minutes. And as I'm passing it around, I'm trying to get the oil all over it. I'm going to take this moment to add some nice ground sea salt and ground pepper. And I'm just going to keep on stirring it. Once it starts to break down a little bit, I will throw in the flour, based uh, garlic sauce. My garlic sauce, of course, is very non-traditional uh, because usually you have peanut oil and you have maybe a little bit of cornstarch, but I was trying to make a, a garlic sauce that um, approached the flavor but didn't nearly approach the calories. And at this point, now that there's a little bit of heat in there, I'm going to go ahead and throw in a little bit of water. Just 
start to steam it a little bit. water is very hot. It seems very hot. And the asparagus is starting to break down just a little bit. As soon as that water is gone, I will start to uh, think about adding the garlic sauce. You can start to smell the asparagus. It's nice. Okay. That water is almost gone. Always try to keep the asparagus moving. So right there, I just cut through one of the stalks with this plastic spatula, which tells me that This is uh, about ready. I'm able to do that pretty consistently now. We're starting to, there's some starch starting to show up on the bottom of the pan. All right, so let's turn this down a little bit. And there's our garlic sauce. So we're just going to go ahead and let that simmer. And once the broth is the consistency of the sauce that we want, and everything's cooked all the way through, we'll be perfect. Of course, I like my uh, asparagus to be uh, quite done. And so if I wanted it more al dente, I probably would add the sauce a little bit sooner because this is actually continuing to cook the asparagus, of course. Yeah, that garlic smells amazing.
it's starting to thicken up. I want to make sure that it's always moving because I don't want it to stick to the bottom. Yeah, the asparagus is quite nicely quite nicely cooked. That whole wheat flour in there is doing its job of thickening up the sauce. Sugar gives it a nice sweetness. The garlic gives it that nice punch of flavor. The soy gives it a nice syrupy, earthy tone and umami. Uh, the salt and pepper give it a nice tight seasoning. The broth gives it a, <coughs> excuse me, a medium. That little bit of olive oil makes it stick nicely to everything. Starting to brown, starting to have a really nice color. The asparagus are still nice and firm too, they're not too limp. Parsley is going to give a nice earthy yet bright tone. I'm actually going to finish this with a little bit of lemon juice to give it a little acid kick. And if I had some wasabi, definitely would be throwing some wasabi in there. That's the other thing, the, the red pepper flake is going to give it a nice heat. Very nice heat. Okay, I can barely make out any major areas of sauce anymore. It's mostly just the asparagus with a glaze of the sauce. I'm going to turn the heat way down. And I'm going to call this done. Like I said, 
and take a little bit of lemon juice. Just to brighten it up. And we'll call that done. Well, thanks for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed it. I will tell you in the comments how it turned out. Talk to you.